hello guys welcome back to another Android studio tutorial in this episode we are going to learn about another important concepts about Android services if you create a service always make sure that you create a separate thread for the service do not run the service on the main GUI thread and if you use the main GUI thread to run the service it will cause application not responding error so always create a separate thread for the service so here I am going to show you what is the actual problem and what is the solution for the problem. So here I use the same example used in the previous episode. So here we create a simple status service. Here is the service class. So on the on start command we just print a message using a toast and the on destroy command also we place a toast. Now here inside the on start command here I am going to make a long running task. So now this the service you run on the main GUI thread. Now here I am going to make uh, going to add a long running task on the main GUI thread. For that here I am going to declare some variable in i equal to 0. Okay. Now make a synchronized block. I need a synchronized block using the main GUI thread. Okay, now here I am going to add a long running task using a loop, add a while loop, put some condition i less than 10. This will run the loop 10 times. Now here I am going to wait the main GUI thread for some milliseconds, so call the wait method and add some milliseconds. Here I add 15,000, 1,500 into 10, 15,000. Okay, this will pause the main GUI thread for 15 seconds. And we have to add a try catch block here. Okay, and after finishing this service, after finishing this progress, we have to finish the thread, we have to finish the service. So after finishing this while loop, I have to call the stop self method. So after finishing this while loop here I use the I call the stop self method. Okay. Also I have to increment the value of i by one. So i plus plus. Okay, now we have a long running progress in the main GUI thread. Okay, and the service is now running on the main GUI thread and we have a long running progress in the service. Now in the activity main.xml file we have two buttons for first one for the start the service and second one for stop the service. Now into the activity main.xml here I am going to add some text field. I just put some text field into the activity main.xml file. Uh, we have to set the width for the text field. Specify the width as match parent. Okay. Uh, now we have two buttons and the text field is available on the activity main.xml file. Also we have a service that contain a, prog a process that take 50 seconds. And the service is running on the main GUI thread. What will happen if I run the application? Now I am going to run the app. Okay, now here we have the application available on the virtual device. Here we have two buttons and the text field. So now I can type a message on the text field. I can type a message on the text field now. I remove the message. Okay. Now here I am going to start the service. I start the service. Now you can see now the application is not responding. This is because now the main GUI thread is used by the service. And if the user try to interact with the application, it will cause it will issue an application not responding error. This will affect the performance of your application. So the user have to wait for 15 seconds because for 15 seconds the main GUI thread is used by the service in the background. So always make sure that you create a separate thread for the service otherwise it will create application not responding error. So I start the service again you can see now the text field is not responding. So the Android system will issue an application not responding error. You can see it again. So I have to wait. And once the service finished, 
now the service is finished now the main GUI thread is free and now the user can interact with the GUI this is the problem so the solution for the problem is you have to create a separate thread for the service so now I have to create a new thread for the service so I have to put these code stack segments inside a new thread for that here I am going to create another class create another class for the thread create a final class I name the class as my thread my thread class uh, we need some argument we need some variable for this class int service id and add some constructor for the class my thread class and int id uh, in service id and initialize the variable this dot service id equal to service id and here I'm going to implement a runnable using this class implement runnable so I have to add the run method implement the method the run method okay now here I am going to put all these code segments inside the run method so I cut statements from here up to stop self stop self method cut this one and put it on the run method now this is a new thread okay and here I declare a variable service ID so here I need to stop the service using stop self method so I have to identify so here I create the service using X service class that means extending service class so it can handle multiple threads at a time so we have to know which service is actually stopped by the system so we have to know the service ID so here you can see on the on start command here we have a started started ID this is the unique ID assigned by the Android system so you have to pass the ID before stop the service so here I have to pass the ID of the service into the stop self so service ID this will stop the current service sorry the current thread service okay now we have another class that contain a thread and we place all the progress all the long running progress on the newly created thread so now we have to start the thread for that here I am going to create an object of my thread class sorry create an object of thread class thread, thread equal to new thread and pass the pass an object of service class my service class my thread class and you have to pass the start id of the service and pass the start id this will start the service and now we have to start the thread so thread dot start okay now here we have a service and that will that run on a separate thread okay now here I am going to run the same application again so I run the application okay now we have the same application on the virtual device now I can type a message on the text field and now I am going to start the service now the service is running in the background in a separate thread so now I can type the message again on the text field because the main GUI thread is now free and the service is run in the background in a separate thread and now the service is destroyed after 15 seconds it will destroy it okay now I start the service again now it run in the background and before it finishes here I am going to stop the service now I can stop the service now it will stop it will stop before finish okay so that is the problem and that is the solution for this problem so if you create a service always make sure that you create a separate thread for the service otherwise it will cause application not responding error 
I hope you understand this concept. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.